Oh, hello. I'm glad I caught you. Wait, don't tell me. You want me to run down to the Robert IDK channel and watch old Haminations videos, and then you want me to run back here and say, Robert, this is the best video of all time. Yes, that's exactly what I want you to do. Today, we are back at one of my favorite places on the internet, Bryson's channel, because our good pal Bryson has some old videos. Old videos when he was a wee little lad. I mean, not the weeest of lads, like he was like 16 at the time, but Hammond Nation's old videos are a special moment in internet history. His animation was not good. His voice was so that of a 10 year old, but his storytelling was unmatched. These videos are so much fun to watch and we are going to go through these and dissect them today with such classics as flies, science, sports. I don't like them. Sleep. My imagination part two. And many more. We've checked out Hamination's old videos before and if you haven't seen that you need to check it out after this one you're good here for now chill here for now but let's get into it i really want to start with flies but i feel like some of you guys probably don't want to start this video by talking about insects you know what guys i believe in the flies let's let's start out with flies okay i think this is gonna be a slapper let's do this people all right flies three two one go yeah, yeah. Hello everyone! So I have recently discovered a new pet peeve of mine. Flies. It turns out really? that it takes a long time to animate these videos, so I have been sitting in one place for longer than I normally do. This leaves me open for the annoyance that is flies. I had no problem with flies before this. I would just think, oh, a fly, that's annoying, whatever. But now... <laughs> The most annoying part of them is that they land on me and walk around and crap, oh, usually right when I'm super focused no. on watching an animation or something. So my natural reaction is, of course, to end their existence no. by eating them. But guess what? Flies have these awesome ninja dodging skills. Okay. You're too slow. And can I we think just you're talk for a second about what flies get out of this exchange? Like, mosquitoes land on you to suck your blood. And even though that's annoying and itchy, they actually have a purpose. Also, horse flies, same thing. They get a tasty chunk of skin out of the exchange. Oh, jeez, so while Bryson. I also hate them, it at least makes sense. But flies, flies don't make sense. Horse fly, bro, do not give horse flies any credit. Horse flies are terrifying and horrifying. I, I need to knock on wood before I say this. I have only had one horse fly encounter in my life, and it was like the most mortifying experience of my life. I went out for my morning walk, as I usually do, just walking around the block, picking up my mail. You know what I'm saying? Get some sunlight in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? I was wearing a white t-shirt. I went back inside, walked into my room, sat down on my bed, and I looked down at my white shirt and there's a horse fly just on my belly and I freaked out, dude. I threw that shirt off and ran out and I spent an hour stalking that horse fly getting ready to beat it to beat it to the, the underworld, basically. I don't know. I've never had a horse fly in my house before, but it scared me. I didn't like it. I don't know. Sorry. I'm just reliving trauma for no reason. <laughs> but yeah, I strongly dislike flies. I've had fly problems at my last place I lived at. I don't know what happened. I think there was some opening in my home. Oh my gosh. It's so annoying. Do they feed on anger or something? Because otherwise you have no reason to land on me. I mean, they're just like, duh, 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 gonna land on this guy and annoy him for no reason. Fun fact, one time we were on a family road trip, and one of our two dogs at the time noticed that there was a fly in the car. It flew by our old dog, Duke, and chomp, he Got ate him. the fly right out of the air. Good job, Duke. Fly, that's how I would want to go down. I'd be all like, okay, I'm going in. I'm going to try and annoy this huge pit bull for no reason. It will be legendary. Then comes the darkness. And there's always that one fly that flies around your head and keeps landing on you and uses its super ninja dodging ability to avoid getting hit. Ugh. So I had been on the computer and it landed on me for what had to have been the 50th time that day. That was the last straw. 50! I went and got a fly swatter and walked into the office and closed the doors, blocking off its escape path. And I literally said out loud, it's just you and me, fly. You don't get to live anymore. And the hunt began. I saw it on the table, and before I even swung, it started flying again. 
I was following it with my eyes, but it crossed over one of the many black things in the office and I lost sight of it. Okay, the fly swatter you get is very important. I went through a phase where I was taking care of flies with an oven mitt, which is insane, but I got incredibly good at getting flies with an oven mitt. But then someone in my life at the time was like, bro, you can't be this solid snake ninja getting flies with the oven mitt. Why, what are you doing? You're putting yourself through so much unnecessary pain. So they showed me what to get. And it is this thing right here. It's electric. Wow, flies must be really weak because that didn't hurt me. Don't try that at home, I'm sorry. Don't try that at home. Is that supposed to hurt? Is that really what's been eliminating the flies? I'm a trained professional. I took a course on how to hit yourself with this. Yeah, this thing is electric and uh, this will take care of flies. The thing is, anything that doesn't have the holes, the wind, the flies are gonna get away because of the wind and the air and the something. Get yourself something like this on Amazon, it's like 15 bucks. Um, if the company that makes this wants to sponsor me, then I'll put the link, but uh, no free promos here. Uh, yeah, this changed my life, bro. This changed my life. Because you can see it when the background is a light color, but not when the background is dark. Yup. So I stood still waiting yes! for my eyes to touch into- Sorry, sorry, sorry to, sorry to pause this again so quickly. My, my last office, the whole room was that black foam. It was so hard to find flies in there. Ugh. Then I felt it land on my arm and start crawling around. I felt it with its stupid idiot dumb feet. It's taunting me. I tried to smack it, but it flew away and onto a chair. I held up the fly swatter. Oh, and by the way, if you're a creature and people invent a tool designed specifically to kill you, then that's a really clear sign that you're annoying and stupid and you shouldn't exist. Anyways, I held up the fly swatter and... Ha! I destroyed it! Also, there were like three flies between the window and the blinds, and I killed all of them as well. Yes! Good job, Human's Bryson. position at the top of the ecological chain preserved. You are welcome. Okay, I'm not done yet. Another thing that makes me angry is just the sound they make. Just the stupid bzzz, and then they run into a wall and it's like bzzz, 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 bzzz. Ugh, I kid you not, that sound now gives me anxiety. I mean, of course. I kid, I kid you not. When a fly is buzzing in my home, I don't like it. <laughs> Whoa, who would have thought? Who would have thought, Bryson? Yeah, that's possibly one of the most annoying sounds in existence. Trust me, trust me, Bryson. Uh, you are not alone in feeling this way. Flies being annoying? Yeah, you, you, that's not, you didn't come up with that. You didn't come up with that. It is the worst, though. Honestly, that could be a good torture method. Tie someone to a chair and put them in a room filled with thousands of flies. And the kids they just have to sit there and let the stupid flies crawl all over them. If someone oh used that torture method on me, I would last 10 minutes tops. Okay, I'll tell you where the secret base is. Just please get the me away from base. these flies. <laughs> so the that moral of the story is, flies are stupid. Literally, their only purpose is to fly around poop and be eaten by other cool bugs, like spiders. Spiders are super scary, and I totally scream every time I see one, but they're actually pretty cool. And spiders are also great because they murder flies. So Yay. thank you guys so much for watching. Hold on, don't end the video. Literally, as I was animating this, my brother Brody, knowing full well about the fly's ninja dodging skills, decided to one-up the flies with superior human intelligence. Okay. He saw a fly on the wall, and knowing that this fly would zip away as soon as he saw movement, decided to play right into this. He carefully placed himself behind the fly, and intentionally clapped about a foot behind the fly. The fly, seeing the movement, got scared, and immediately flew off the wall directly into the clap. Got him. bam the fly caught the full force of the clap directly in the face and died immediately, slowly spinning to the ground. Take that, flies! Okay, bye, everyone. Congratulations, Brody. I, I don't want to ever clap a fly in my bare hands. That freaks me out. Like, I don't want to, like, squish them and then... Ugh. I'll do that with mosquitoes or fruit flies or something, but an actual fly? Heck no, I'm not clapping it. I'm not clapping it. My claps are too intense. My claps are too intense. I am not prepared for the for the grotesqueness on my hands. I don't want it. I don't want it. Well, that was fun. 10 out of 10. And now, my friends, it is time for science. If there's one person I trust to give me hard facts and evidence on science, it is 16-year-old Bryson Emanations. No doubt this will be the most intellectually stimulating video that we have ever seen. And I'm willing to bet my life on it. 
Just kidding. Okay, but it is time for science. I have no idea what's about to happen. <laughs> Honestly, no idea. Let's hit it. Three, two, Ichi, go. Yeah, yeah. Hello again, everybody. I'm going to talk about science class. I like science class. Do you guys like science class? Yeah. I like science class. Anyways, in my science class, we were learning about surface tension. Surface tension happens because water molecules are strongly attracted to each other. This allows some insects to walk on water. True. It lets that weird bubble thing happen at the top of the glass, True. and it's why belly flops hurt so much. True. So my science teacher told us that surface tension in water molecules is pretty strong, but if you add soap, it breaks the surface tension. But she told us that one right. teacher used to teach his students about this by taking a water skater, you know, those little bugs that can walk on water, and put them in water and then put soap in the water. The water skater would then sink into the water. He saved the bug, but that got me wondering. The water skater was okay, physically, but was it really okay, mentally? <sighs> Just imagine him talking to his water skater therapist. I was just walking when when all of a sudden I sunk into the ground. It, it was like it was like everything I've ever known is a lie and that it could happen again at any moment. I don't know what's real anymore, man. I've gone through my whole life skating on water. They literally named me a water skater because this is the one thing that I trusted to be okay. And then this morning when I went to that water in that science class and I tried skating on on that water, I didn't skate. In fact, I sunk. And you know what I said? This is the one thing we didn't want to happen! It's very tragic. It's very tragic. The one thing that this water skater had in its life was skating on water. And you took that from him! Horrible. I don't know what's real anymore, man! And his therapist is all like, don't worry, we'll take care of it. Just calm down. Then the therapist talks him off a cliff and he's fine. Yay. Only to have the same thing happen to him the next period when the teacher is teaching that lesson again. Oh, no. Can you imagine how psychologically damaging that must be? Just imagine walking down the street one day when... Huh? Hey, I'll, he, I'll, I'll ease your mind a little bit, Bryson, uh, and anyone watching. Uh, yeah, water skaters, first of all, I don't know if this is an American thing. I've never heard the term water skater in my life, but they don't have brains that are, they, they don't have feelings. They don't have feelings. They don't have, like, they, no, no, they're not worried. Trust me. They, they can't feel worry. It's physical. They, no, your brain has to be, like, at least, like, 50 <sighs> times larger. So I think they were okay for their like three weeks of uh, of uh, life expectancy. By the way, quick interruption. I did want to just mention something really quick. Unfortunately, in the last week or so, YouTube has been doing a really weird thing on the channel. This happens to me like once every year or two where YouTube out of nowhere just like stops showing my videos to like half of my audience. So literally for like no reason, our views just get completely cut in half and there's nothing I can do about it. So as a result, if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that YouTube has not been recommending our other recent videos. I know half of you guys is totally normal and it's totally fine and is good, but to the other half of you guys, you probably had no idea that I posted this slapper or this slapper. Yeah, we've been posting some really good videos recently, so after this video, make sure you go to the channel and you catch up on any videos that you haven't seen. Because yeah, YouTube just does this, like it happens like once a year and it's really frustrating, but there's nothing I can do about it. So just check out the channel and make sure you're caught up. Maybe add them to your watch later playlist if they're if it's too much to watch right now but yeah i just don't want you guys to miss the videos and it really is lame when this happens but just wanted to let you know i'm gonna keep posting videos nothing else changes here we're good but yeah just wanted to let you know my science teachers have also told me about how the earth is spinning at like a thousand miles per hour but we can't even feel it and that got me wondering again what if the Earth just all of a sudden stopped rotating? Whoa! Would that send everyone flying away in one direction at a thousand miles per hour off the planet? Ah! Jeez! Oh, actually, don't jump scare me. It. Turns out that something pretty close to that would actually happen. Most of the surface of the Earth would suddenly be jettisoned into space. Angular momentum is a crazy thing. I feel like people in the food industry use technical and scientific words to sell stuff. They say stuff like, oh, it's organic. Well, organic just means of, relating to, or derived from living organisms. Therefore, all things made from plants and animals are organic. 
So you could just slap that sticker on all the other foods. Cap, cap, cap. Unfortunately, Bryson, we do have a thing called the FDA and there are regulations. You can't just call everything organic. I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't just, you can't call something organic that isn't organic. It's one of those words where yes, the literal meaning is one thing, but then to actually use it in modern society, there are guidelines. You can't just say that. If you got GMOs in your apple, you can't call it organic. Yeah, I know that it legally means something else now, but that's stupid. You can't just steal words like that. They already have meanings. Give us our words back. At least Sorry. organic foods are somewhat okay, I guess. What if food scientists actually advertised foods how they actually were really made? Ooh, this chicken was injected with hormones and lived in a warehouse its whole life. Ooh, if I eat this, my toilet will never be unclogged again. <laughs> Ooh, literally none of the ingredients on this aren't from a laboratory. Yes. <laughs> but that wouldn't make as much money, and we can't have that. Probably, Ugh. yeah. I guess money really is the root of all evil. It's like this. Um, hey, excuse me, yeah. What you're doing is wrong on all levels. I'm fine with that. Yay. And now I'd like to talk about some things that blow my mind. So look at the cell. If you zoom in wow. a ton, then here's an atom. Wow. And if you zoom in even more, you see the nucleus of the atom. Well, what would happen if you kept zooming in forever? An atom's nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons. And then looking further, we now know that those particles are composed of quarks, leptons, and bosons. What? Well, what makes up those? And what makes up those? And on and on. Quarks, plus and botons? Is this a new discovery? Because I didn't know about that in my chemistry class. Guys, chemistry was my worst subject in all of high school. It was my worst subject. I barely skated by. Every other subject, somehow, I was able to, when I studied, I could, like, get really good at it. Chemistry, I don't know what it was. I was interested in chemistry. Chemistry interests me. I don't know what it was was that I could not pull it together for. But anyways, botons or quarflons, whatever he just said, is this new? Cause I didn't know that. I didn't know you could get less than the nucleus of an atom. What? You know what? I'm gonna stay ignorant. I'm happy to stay ignorant on this one. You guys who are still in school, y'all can learn this. I'ma stay dumb. I'm good. I'm good. I'll stick with my trauma of getting 32% on my final exam, okay? I'll stick with that. Are atoms really just tiny universes in and of themselves? Probably not. Are there an infinite amount of universes within my body? Probably not. If so, then by that logic, does that mean there's an infinite amount of things bigger than us? Probably. Are we the atom Maybe. of some cell? Some infinitely small speck? How can we ever know? Does everything include nothing? Does nothing even exist? Is there truly a place where there is nothing? How can there be if there is everything that we know? Is science just our sad and pathetic efforts to understand a minuscule amount of the observable universe that could never even amount to anything because of what we can't see and what we don't know? Okay, okay, Bryson, okay. Bryson is channeling his inner Jaden Smith right now. Listen, Jaden, how can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? I don't know. Let's look some classic Jaden Smith-isms. When you party, I'm on the treadmill. When you sleep, I'm on the treadmill. When I tweet, I'm on the treadmill. Remember this. What is the definition of light? It's your birthday, Mateo said. I didn't respond. Are you not excited to be 15? He asked. Reading my book, I uttered, I turned 15 long ago. If a bookstore never runs out of a certain book, does that mean that nobody reads it? Or everybody reads it? <laughs> You do not know who you are or why you're here. So when you see someone who dose the society comes together as a whole and destroys them. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Beautiful Jaden. Beautiful Jaden. Anyways, that's what uh, Bryson's channeling right now in case anyone was curious. Because of what we can't see and what we don't know, what we don't even know. Okay, well, good luck going to sleep tonight. Bye. Listen, Bryson, if I had never had these thoughts before, yeah, trust me, it would be hard to fall asleep. But to me, as an adult who's already gone through all this pain and sadness and fear, uh, you're just sounding like some Jaden Smith to me, brother. And now, homies, let's talk about something dumb. Dumb, but awesome, but dumb. Sports! Oh, I don't like them! 
What is it with people who spend hours a day on their computer with not liking sports? I just don't, I simply can't wrap my head around how this could be possible. I'm just playing guys. We're all a bunch of YouTuber nerds. It makes a lot of sense why we don't like sports. I mean, I kind of like sports. I don't mind them that much, but it makes sense why a bunch of YouTuber nerds like us who spend a lot of time on our computers don't have the best experience with sports, okay? All right, homies, it's time for sports. Ichi de Trace. <laughs> Go. guys sorry it's kind of been a while but let's just jump right into the video okay sports i don't like them what? as i'm sure many of you guessed by now me being a short little fetus of a 16 year old oh. that sits around making cartoons for the internet never really enjoyed sports. that makes sense also my eyes are kind of messed up i'll talk about it in a future video but anyways i've never been that good at sports nor did i enjoy them at all a lot of people would say to me though well, of course you're not good at them right now, but you could get better. Just practice. Blah, blah, blah. Insert inspirational quote that I didn't come up with. Uh, follow your dreams. Woo! And I always want to say, you're Die. right. If I practice, I could get good. But guess what? I don't want to. They're not fun. Ugh. Okay, that's true. That That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. If the homie is like five foot two or whatever he was when he was 16, sports probably aren't the most fun. Because when you're a kid, you don't have weight classes, you know? When you're an adult, actually, I guess it's just fighting that has weight classes, isn't it? Okay, yeah, this is a, an internal pain. But Bryson, yeah, I, I want to know what Bryson thinks about sports now. Now that he's like six feet tall, you could probably play some volleyball and have a great old time. Or maybe he didn't learn the, coord the coordination of a tall person when he was young and now he's forever cursed but i think bryson i could see bryson playing some volleyball i don't know call me crazy i could see the lad playing some volleyball bryson you should we you should play some volleyball okay one time i was in pe not a fun class for me and i was just standing around in the field doing nothing Drew when i heard a big so tall. punt and then i heard someone yell bryson bryson I turned to see a soccer ball, or football if you don't live in america anyways i turned to see this kind of ball right here one foot from my face I remember getting hit, but it didn't hurt for some reason. Then the next thing I knew, I was on the ground looking up at a circle of oh. people looking down at me. All right. What? I had been knocked out. It felt really weird. Really? It felt as if my soul had left my body for a second. The teacher had someone walk me to the nurse for some reason. But like, what are you going to do? Oh, uh, here's a cup of water. Uh, class. <laughs> Bryson, what what were you doing? Were you thinking about a a animations? When you're playing a game of soccer, you have one job, and it's to keep your eye on the ball. When I was a kid, if, if I was playing soccer, here's where I was stupid. If the ball would fly at me, boom, just use the hand. I don't care, what are you gonna do? Arrest me? <laughs> I was ruthless with just hitting the ball with my hand because I didn't like soccer. You know why, people? Because I was a hockey player. I was Canadian. I was a hockey player. In hockey, if the puck is flying through the air, you can grab it real quick and just throw it on the ground. But in soccer, if you touch the ball with your hand, you may as well have just publicly sold your soul to Satan. That may as well be what you just did. And I made sure to do that every chance that I got because I didn't care. You know why? Because I was a hockey player. And there isn't a single hockey player on this planet that has this accent, so I don't know what I'm doing. Another time I was with one of my best friends, Travis, at the same school, and a random basketball hit me in the head. Ow. Bryson, are you okay? Why? I also didn't like sports because I was always hate it when someone was like, Bryson, pass the ball. And then I try and kick it and it goes the wrong way and everyone's like, you failed the team, Bryson. Uh. We could have won. Ugh, I'm sorry. I can't freaking. Too ugh, much I pressure. Can't. The reason I didn't really enjoy sports is because there's only so much that can happen. That's why I like video games. You do different things. In video games, you have different moves. I use tornado upper kick, downward slam, cruncher punch. Fair. But in sports, it's like, I use kick move. I also use kick move. Me as well. Okay. Just over and over. It's the same thing. Spice things up once in a while. James from The Odd Ones Out made a very similar video about this, and you should all go watch it. I agree with all the points he makes. And I've obviously drawn some of my points from his video. Is that considered plagiarism? No. I'm I don't know, but guy. James likes to plagiarize too, so I'm sure he would approve. Please notice me, James. A lot of people like sports uh, because there's a competitive spirit involved. You can make your own moves up in soccer. They just aren't legal. Like for, for me, example, the classic move, the slap. 
The hand. Technically, you can do whatever you, if you're in PE class, again, what are they gonna do? Hey, you can't do that! Bruh. Okay, sorry, I already did. I already did the thing, sorry. Listen, if you're not in a professional league, do your thing. A lot of people like sports because of the competitive spirit involved. I, I don't have that. I kid you not, one time I was on a paddleboard at a lake and my grandpa said, Hey Bryson, I bet you can't do a push-up on that paddleboard. And I said, I bet you're right. <laughs> and I paddled off. Literally. However, well, I'm not competitive over sports or anything like That's that. Funny. I used to get kind of mad and competitive over video games. Specifically, Super Smash Bros. I used to play that game so much with my friends, but I would get triggered whenever I lost. Yep. It was a glitch! He clearly should have grabbed that edge! Ugh, I didn't press that button! What the frick? Are you hacking? What the heck? Bruh! True! That is the difference about video games and sports. When you're playing sports, you can't complain about- It was a glitch! <laughs> the character didn't do what I wanted to! That is a big difference about video games. There's a lot more things you can blame it on in the game, but when it's sports, it's your body. You're doing it in real life. It's real. You can't fake it. I actually quit that game for good because it made me mad and because my friend Andrew always played Link and Link is freaking OP! Ah! Just kidding. I don't get mad about video games anymore. <laughs> Speaking of which, you guys can blame Super Mario Odyssey for this video taking forever to come out. I can't just not play an awesome game. My will is not strong enough. Yeah. Anyways, those are some of my stories and I hope you like them. Uh, goodbye, I'm gonna go play more Mario. I hope you enjoyed that, Bryson. Right now, I'ma keep it real because I've been sick. Your boy's been out here playing that Metal Gear Solid collection. I went my whole life consuming so much media about Metal Gear Solid and I had never played it. And so I'm finally putting myself through it. And while it is hard to play a PS1 game in the year 2023 for the first time, uh, one of the greatest games ever made. Incredible, genuinely incredible. One of the greatest stories Stories I've ever seen in a video game like genuinely incredible and now I'm hyping myself up But I should not play it after this. I have work to do anyway sports are fun <laughs> I actually talked a lot more about sports in this video right here We will put the link at the end We talked about sports and I told a lot of classic Robert IDK playing sports as a kid stories in this video So if you want to hear those, I think they were super fun. I had a great time with that video I'm going to put the link at the end or if you just can't wait uh, you can check out the thing right there. Now let's check out a couple more Bryson classics before we go to sleep or you watch another video. My imagination part two featuring the amazing Maz. That's how you say his name. Guys, I get it. I get it. Let me pronounce people's names wrong in the first episode, okay? It's gonna happen. Then I'll get it right. Maz. These imagination videos are some of the most classic and fun emanations videos out there. And so you know this one's gonna be fun. What random thoughts did Bryson have on this day? Let's find out. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. Hey guys, did you see the new intro? I think it's pretty good, but I've seen some people ask me about my intro, so now I'm gonna tell you about it. The little creature at the beginning- Wow, I literally told Cameron to cut out the intro on this one, and now he talks about the intro? You can skip the intro song. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> leave that in. Uh the little creature at the beginning is called a ham. Don't ask why, I just like the way ham sounded. Anyways, me and my best friends Cole and Travis created them, and they basically became the symbol of our friendship. So that's what my name is. Ham plus animations yes. equals hamination. Got it. I figured There's that out. There's other ways you could spell it, but I like the way this one sounded. But some people get confused about which part is which. These are the eyes. Uh -huh. This is the mouth. Uh -huh. And this is the tummy. And these are its blushies. The hand led up to the creation of many other creatures and things that I'm oh, about no. to talk about. Not scrumbos, not scrumbos, please, 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 please. Talk about anything you want, Bryson, just not scrumbos. If I see scrumbos on the screen, we might have a problem. So here we go, my imagination part two. You already know it's gonna be weird, but this one is extra special because we have Moz here from the Amazing. Yay. Hey Bryson, thanks for having me on, mate. And I love this topic, so why don't you start it off, mate? Okay, here we go. The word encumbered. 
To me, that just sounds like some strange You're cucumber, cucumber with legs that runs around absorbing people. Yeah. Help! I'm being encumbered! Like impeached in the last okay, one. Okay, that's a pretty good one. What else do you have? What if microscopic life was, like, cartoony? Look into the microscope, looking at the cells, and... La 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 la. Oh, hey there, big guy looking down at me. Oh, hey, get out of here, bacteria. Oh, he's gonna get encumbered. But I'm the good kind of bacteria. Oh, okay. I lied. Oh, my gosh. No! no! Oh, he got encumbered. It happens. Okay, I got one. What if airplanes had to flap their wings to fly? I think that would make them a lot more interesting to watch, but a lot more frightening to be in. <laughs> Terrifying. I love it. You know how a newborn horse can pretty much walk instantly? And you know how a newborn human can't do anything? anything. Well, what about a newborn centaur? The horse half would be able to run around while the baby part would just be <laughs> popping around. Brilliant! Brilliant! Brilliant concept. Yeah, what is it with human babies and being worthless? Literally, when muffins have babies... Wait, how long do muffins take to have children? Wait, I just realized I'm the only person who calls rats muffins. Okay, sorry. Rats. 21 to 23 days. And yes, okay, baby rats are useless for like a week. And then they become like little, little puppies. And then they become like little, little muffins. And then as soon as their eyes open up, they're off to the races and become, oh my goodness, the little muffin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, new baby rats, I think, are coming soon. I think I'm gonna get some more muffins before too, too long. Let's check, uh, you know what? Let's check on our muffins right now. Let's check on our muffins. How are my babies? Hello. Hi, Mr. Mouse. How's it going, bud? You just hanging out? You just hanging out, mister? <gasps> and there's Mr. Ralphie. Hello, buddy. You guys want something to eat? You guys want something to eat? Okay. Hey, little bears. Okay, there you go, Mr. Uh, Ralphie Bear. Oh, here you go, Mr. Mouse. Uh, here you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. Have a good, have a good munchie. What about a newborn centaur? The horse half would be able to run around while the baby part would just be flopping around. Think about that for a second. Whoa. Teleportation Pathetic. is in a lot of sci-fi movies, but has anyone ever thought about this? What if you accidentally teleported into the same space another person was occupying? Horrifying. No, 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 I'm gonna teleport. Horrifying. <laughs> Walking to work. Oh no. Oh, Walking no. to work. Walking to work. Someone help us! We're gosh. stuck together! <laughs> Somebody help us! <laughs> Terrifying. So, you guys already know that I like to personify stuff, right? Yes. So this one day, I was walking to school with my friend, and I picked a leaf off a tree, and I said, this is Big John the leaf. He's a role model for all the other leaves. My friend didn't really care, and he just looked at me like I was crazy. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> Anyways, I take the train to school, so we waited for the train, and really? when it came, the wind of the train blew Big John out of my hands. I started walking to pick him up when... No! Stomped on Big, Big John, John! And him across the concrete. No! Big John! No! John? John? John! Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? You take the train to school, Bryson? I I want to know more about this. Is this for real? D Yo, le leave a comment. Do you take the train to school? How long does that take? If you have to take a train to go to school every day, your school might be too far away. I don't know. Is there something I'm missing here? So there you have it. Strange things that my mind has conjured up. Should I do a part three? Vote up in the poll. Oh, yeah. Thanks for being here, Moz. All right, thanks for having me, man. We'll see you guys later. That was the most bizarre collab I've ever seen. But the, both lads have come so far, and I'm very happy to see it. Friend stories! Featuring my friends. Friend stories! Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it general. Are you ready, people? Because I am. Three, two, one. Go. Yeah, uh. With the trap. Uh, yeah. Hey guys, so today I've got a bit of a different video for you. My best friends who happen to be triplets named Cole, Travis, and Ava from California are visiting. And we've had so many funny stories, so we're gonna share some. Okay. Next up is Cole. Hey everyone, I'm Cole. So Hi, Cole. back when Bryson lived in California, we did scouts together. We liked it a lot, but the campouts were just a little too much for us sometimes. 
The other kids and our leaders would want to do these late night hikes and activities, but me and Bryson always just wanted to go to sleep. Well, hopefully that's not the story, right? I want to tell you about this epic camping story. One time, other people wanted to do something super fun, but we just wanted to sleep. So we slept and it was so good. You know all the best stories happen when you don't sleep, right? I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to advise you on this. I slept a long time last night and it was incredible, but it wasn't a good story. <laughs> At one camp out, after Bryson and I were all settled in for a good night's rest, the leaders bars into our tent and told us, we're gonna have to wake you up later for a fireside, so don't get too comfortable. Oh no. And we were so tired and Bryson gets a little protective of his sleep. <laughs> so he yelled back, <laughs> Don't you dare wake us up. And as you all know, Bryson can go to sleep insanely fast. And it usually takes me at least an hour to fall asleep, so... Oh, I didn't know that Bryson could fall asleep insanely fast. That's probably gonna... We're probably gonna learn about that in the sleep video that we watch next. Takes this guy an hour to fall asleep? Oh, that's so sad. I'm sorry. Can, can I dissect your, uh, your routine? Maybe there's something we can, uh, help here. And it usually takes me at least an hour to fall asleep, so sometimes at these campouts, he would leave me in terrifying nature in favor of the comfort the sleep world provides. One time, we had to get our Wilderness Survival Merit Badge. This is basically where you have to make a shelter for yourself to camp in using just the resources around you and sleep in it. Ours is pretty okay. basic. It was just comprised of a bunch of sticks leaning against a log, insulated with bark. Once we built the shelter, it was a long night of Bryson sleeping and me sitting there awake oh, freezing. Oh no! But for some reason, we both ended up awake around 5 a.m. I was so cold, and our scout leader heard us talking and dropped a hand warmer into the shelter. I was so excited for the warmth. A hand warmer? Bryson took turns holding on to the hand warmer. But then Bryson fell asleep with it. I didn't want to take be Take it from so him! I didn't take it from him, but I didn't fall asleep at all that night. These are the worst stories ever! That sounds like such misery! Dude, Cole, you are killing our buzz right now. I feel bad for this guy, because I- I've battled insomnia. I'm someone who sometimes has really bad insomnia, sometimes doesn't. Right now, I stopped drinking coffee because it's not good for my illness, and I'm sleeping a bit better. But man, I have dealt with insomnia in my life, and this guy is telling stories that make me very sad. I don't have the easiest time sleeping, but I think I have an easier time than him. And just the, the idea of being awake all night, unable to sleep outside in the wilderness when it's cold. Oh, that sounds like the worst night of my life, dude. That makes me sad. This is like the, I'm not enjoying hearing about this at all. Can you please give me a fun story? Oh, apparently everyone watched this. So I guess maybe it gets, gets happier. So trust me, I know a thing or two about Bryson's sleeping superpower. Okay. Hi, I'm Travis. Hi, Travis. My name is Travis. Uh, and the moon star. During the summer, Bryson, Cole, Ava, and I would ride our bikes downtown to get food and candy. It was a ton of fun, and we usually spent most of the day downtown hanging out. This one time, though, we were riding away from the candy shop, and Bryson was about to cross the road. He looked right, nothing. Okay. He looked left, nothing. Okay. Little did Bryson know that as he was looking away, a car sped out of the parking lot and zoomed towards him. Oh. Since Bryson had already looked right and left, he assumed it would be okay to cross oh, the street. No. He began to cross only for the car Don't to smash go, into his bike and for the windshield to hit his hand. Surprisingly, Bryson survived. Barely. Just kidding. He was fine. The car owner rolled down his window and said, Yo fam, sorry, you good? Bryson, being a polite little boy- Shut up, Travis! I'm not a little boy! I'm not a little boy! I just Bryson. sound like it, Travis! Shut up, Bryson! I'll wreck you! Shut up, Bryson! I'll wreck you! Travis, pretending for a second that he's not also going through puberty while recording this. Shut up, Travis! I'm not a little boy! Shut up! Oh, Bryson, I'll, I'll wreck you! Uh, if, if only, if only they recorded this a couple years later, and one of them at least could sound intimidating. Shut up, Bryson! I'll wreck you! Shut up, Bryson! Being a polite little boy, Bryson said, Uh, yeah, I, I'm okay. It's fine. Cool. And he sped away. But really, you should have pulled, pulled out the Draco. Later, Bryson discovered that his bike wheel was horribly disfigured and barely rideable. The first of many bikes that Bryson would destroy. Hi, I'm Ava, and I'm here to tell a story Hello, from Ava. way back during the worst three years ever, middle school. 
So the middle school we all attended in California puts on a musical every year that anyone can participate in. So when seventh grade rolled around, Bryson, my brothers, and I all decided to do the musical for that year, Beauty and the Beast. I was gifted with one of the worst parts in the show, one of the innumerable Gaston fangirls. (laughs) (laughs) My brother Travis was Cogsworth the clock, Bryson was Lumiere the candlestick, and my other brother Cole was Chip the teacup. Oh my gosh, man, literally no one got a sick roll. Literally not a single one of the homies got a dope roll. Everyone is playing the lamest characters. I'm sorry, guys. Yo, my first date ever was watching The Beauty and the Beast. Uh, Was it in 3D? I don't know, but watching it in theaters. My first date ever with my first girlfriend ever was watching Beauty and the Beast in theaters. Just a fun fact for you guys. It was fine. It was normal. Nothing crazy. Great movie. Great movie. One thing I remember from this play was that part of Bryson's Lumiere costume was these giant fake candles that went over his hands like gloves and had light bulbs in them to make it look like they were actually lit with a flame. Whoa. One day Bryson came to practice late and had to go on stage in costume. The light broke in one of his candlesticks during a scene, which legitimately triggered our director. We all watched in horror as she started yelling at Bryson that if he had been on time, she could have fixed it, and how irresponsible he was, even though it hadn't even been his fault. It's a practice! This literally ended up bringing Bryson to tears and caused his mascara to run down his face because he had been forced to wear makeup. So was I. Who wore it better? I can't tell. These are drawings, Ava. I don't know who wore it better. These are drawings. (laughs) Mascara too? Listen, mascara is easy. Eyeliner, I cannot stand. There was one time I had to wear eyeliner. Well, I had to wear a lot for this uh, cloak photo shoot. Check out these cool photos of me, people. These are probably some of the most professional photos of me that exist on the internet currently. Cloak, Hit me up again. I would love to do more shoot shooting with you sometime. Hit me up or I'll hit you up. I don't know. Should I hit up Cloak? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> removing makeup from your face is not the worst thing in the world. But when it's eyeliner and you're a male who has never worn this before, I think it took me like three or four days to get that off of my face. It was like the most miserable experience of my entire life. I mean, everything around it was fine. I enjoyed the shoot. The shoot was fun. But I filmed <laughs> later that day after like removing what I thought I removed everything, but it's still in that video. Here's the video right here. You can kind of still see it. I know what you're thinking, Robert, why do you look 10 years? younger. Well, I filmed this video 10 years ago. No, actually, I just came from a photo shoot and they needed me to shave my face. Yeah. How how the heck do people put makeup on their eyelid like that? That's terrifying. That makes me so uncomfortable. Anyways, guys, this isn't about me. This is about Bryson's makeup. I'm so sorry you cried, brother. That wasn't your fault. Well, I guess if you were on time. Maybe it is your fault. I don't know. But I'm team Bryson. I'm not I'm not on Bryson's. I'm not on, on the team of Bryson's uh, stage director. So, yeah. Living in California was pretty great, and I was very sad when my family had to move away. Aww. But we still keep in touch and are still best friends. Yeah. I hope you all liked it. Bye. I did like it, Bryson! Okay, we have knocked out so many classics. There's one more that we have to watch, and I honestly think it might be the best one. And I've been waiting to watch it this whole time. And that one, homies, is sleep! My spirit! Well, we already got the spoiler that Bryson can fall asleep in like five seconds, which makes me very upset because I have historically struggled to sleep over the years and it's hard. But let's check it out, homies. And you can tell me all about your sleeping habits in the comments below. I would love to hear them. By the way, homie, if you are watching this video and this is your first time on the channel, well, A, first of all, welcome aboard. I'm glad this video got recommended to you. I would appreciate it if you booped the subscribe button on my channel because if you like this video and you haven't seen other videos, oh my goodness, you have a lot of stuff to watch and enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed to the channel yet. And if you are watching this video and you already are subscribed, well, if you could help me out by booping the like button on this video, it helps my videos get seen by more people like yourself. And people like you booping the like button are part of the reason why people like you found my channel. So I appreciate people like you for helping bring more people like you. All right, let's carry on. Thank you, homies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, blank space. Hello, everyone. I've noticed something recently. Most humans have at least one superpower. For example, some people never have to study for tests and they get A's anyways. Sad. Some people don't have to do their hair and it still looks perfect. Sad. And some people can eat whatever they want without gaining any weight. True. What is my superpower, you ask? 
Well, even though you already know since you read the title, I'm going to say it anyways. My superpower is falling asleep so oh. fast. Not the showiest of powers, but I'll take it. I'm so Beat jealous. You. Honestly, I've talked to some people about it, and they say, oh, it takes me three hours to fall asleep every night. How are That's you not sad. dead? Seriously, I'm convinced that if I couldn't sleep as fast as I do, then I would die. <laughs> However, I get a taste of the pain people with insomnia deal with on Christmas night. Seriously, Aww, I think cute. that I have only had a solid sleep on Christmas Eve once. Once! That's cute. I, I used to be the same way. Unfortunately, now I'm an adult and gifts don't really mean much to me because I buy things for myself when I want them rather than waiting for months. There's literally, when you become an adult, there's like nothing that can recapture the excitement of Christmas as, as a kid. Unless you're like a spoiled kid and you get whatever you want whenever you want. I was not one of those. I had to wait like all year to get the games I wanted for GameCube and stuff. But yeah, I I can definitely relate to that. Aw, man, it makes me sad. This is such a first world problem, but it makes me sad that I never have that Christmas insomnia anymore. Also, my parents have to beg me to put things on my Christmas list every year because I just, I'm an adult. I'm an adult with ADHD. When I want something, I buy it for myself. I just buy it. I don't put it on the Christmas list. So my parents beg me. Well, my dad doesn't care. He gets it. But my mom is like, Ro Robert, please give us a Christmas list. And I'm like, ugh. I don't, it's literally work for me to do this. Okay, I got off the topic of sleep very quickly here. But yeah, it takes me sometimes a while to fall asleep, sometimes not that long. I take way better care of my body now. So I, I have a better time sleeping at night than I used to. But yeah, it's tough sometimes. I'm just so excited. And I sit in my bed saying, oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Fun. And doing that every night would definitely kill me. I honestly didn't know that it was abnormal how fast I fell asleep until one time I was having a sleepover with my best friends Cole and Travis. And in the morning they said, you fell asleep in 30 seconds. Oh. I didn't believe them, but they said, yeah, you got into your bed, said goodnight. And then 30 seconds later, we asked oh. if you were still awake. Oh and no, I'm so but jealous. That story is nothing compared to the most recent one. My friend Dallin was sleeping over, and he says that I got into my bed and said goodnight. 30 seconds later, my little brother Brenner asked Dallin a question. Dallin said, hmm, I don't know. What do you think, Bryson? Uh, Bryson? Oh, man, Brenner? I'm so jealous. Both of us were gone, just like that. In the morning, uh, he told us what had happened, and we were dying laughing. But sometimes I fall asleep on accident. Mostly when I'm watching movies, <laughs> even if I'm super interested in the movie, once I have that first slow blink of drowsiness, I'll be asleep within five minutes. Oh, I'm no so jealous! I am so jealous! Dude, I cannot stop paying attention to media that is playing. That's why I'm good at reacting to media, because I can't not pay attention to it, dude. I will put on certain YouTube channels, like, in my bed. And listen, I fully support falling asleep to Robert Eddie Gay videos. If you want to just leave them on, what I recommend and create a playlist so at least at least then if you fall asleep i'll still get watch time oh, yeah. i recommend doing that that would be good if you do fall asleep to robert idk put on a cue and at least just have it keep playing or something the point being i will put on things to help me like get ready for sleep but i still have to pause it and turn it off before i can actually fall asleep because otherwise i will like 20 percent of my brain will still pay attention and i cannot fall asleep it's the worst it is pain it is nightmares i'm so jealous of this i am so jealous of this. I mean, to be fair, like, I think part of my overactive, like, my overactive brain is why I'm good at what I do and why people like me and why I'm good at what to do. But, man, being able to sleep quickly would be real nice. Real nice. No matter how hard I try, gone. It's like this for my whole family, but especially for my mom. She'll say, okay, I'm going to bed. And we'll all say, oh, it must be nine o'clock. Seriously, every night, come 9 o'clock, and my mom is instantly ready to go to bed. I respect it. I'll probably make a separate video about dreams that I've had, but I want to talk about this specific one because it's so hilarious. So I was in Spanish class, and I guess it was the perfect temperature or something, but I fell asleep on my desk. Wow. But I was only half asleep. My eyes were closed and I couldn't move, but I could still hear what was happening in class. I had a dream about a hamburger but the hamburger was saying exactly what the teacher was saying. <laughs> okay, everybody, pull out your Spanish notes. We're going to practice for the quiz next week. And Oh my gosh, where am I? I woke up with a jolt, and for a second, I had no idea where I was. 
I will never look at that teacher the same way again. I okay. called my ability to fall asleep a superpower, but imagine actually trying to use that against real criminals. Someone's robbing the bank! Help! Never fear, for I am here! Stop right there, criminals! Get him, Sleepy yeah. Bryson! How are you gonna stop us? By doing this! Just gotta lay down real quick. Mm. <sighs> Got him! Fighting crime! on the floor in five seconds flat! That's a new world record! Hey, stop right there! Gotcha! <laughs> Drat! His incredible distraction gave the cops enough time to catch us! No! Yeah, the supreme jealousy of seeing someone who can fall asleep quickly is no criminal can can withstand that. I under I get it. I get it. I would be pretty distracted too. I am distracted right now. I genuinely this this makes me so sad. Like I'm happy for you. I'm 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 very happy for Bryson that he can do this. But my word, if there's one gene that I could adapt in my genome, well, first of all, I'd cure my illness. But aside from that, falling asleep quick would be unfathomably life-changing. Oh my gosh. I cannot imagine how sweet that would be, dude. Ugh, it makes me sad. <laughs> but you know what? Shout out to all my insomniacs watching. I'm with you. I probably don't have it quite as bad as you. But trust me, I have had horrible insomnia before. And I, I go through phases. I do go through phases where it takes me like hours and hours and hours to fall asleep. And it's not fun. I am here for you. I know your pain, okay? Shout out to you guys. You you deserve some love. Are you an insomniac? Let me know in the comments. Let me know. Do you have a hard time sleeping? In a, how long does it take you to fall asleep? Just tell me. Just tell me in the comments. How long does it take to, for you to fall asleep? For me, I think I'm pretty normal right now because I stopped drinking coffee. <laughs> but like, I go through phases. I Like, every phase. I think that would be effective against criminals. Anyways, here's another thing I think about. Sleep is really weird. You close your eyes and you don't know that you exist for a few hours. And yep. sometimes your mind plays a weird brain movie. Yep. So yeah, what's your superpower? Never running out of things to say in silly videos. But unfortunately, sometimes you do have to run out of things to say because if you don't run out of things to say, the video will be over an hour. This was a very, very fun time, people. And if you don't want this to end, here's the whole playlist of Hamination reactions. Have you seen every single one? If you haven't seen every single one, click on the playlist and make sure you have checked it out. Here's that Odd Ones Out video where we talked about sports moments. And here's the video where we actually looked at the Amazing for the first time. If you are missing any of these from your watch history, add them to the queue and you can fall asleep to them tonight. Or just watch them now. Just go ahead, watch them.